for the future shall be brighter than the former. 2020, 2021 and beyond will be brighter than the former. And this is the man who will do it. Raise your hands in the air. Dance to the music. As we welcome the President of the Republic of Ghana to address us. For this wonderful thing that he has done for us. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Thanks be to God! Thanks be to God! Glory to God! Glory to God! Mr. President elect would speak to his party and to the nation. Eminent clergy. First Lady, Mr. Vice President, Second Lady, Mr. Speaker, Chief of Staff of the Office of the President, National Chairman of the MPP, dignitaries of the party, dignitaries of the government, members of the new patriotic party, fellow Ghanaians, ladies and gentlemen. We've had a long, tiring afternoon, so I'll be very brief to give me the opportunity to express several words of gratitude. First of all, to Almighty God. It has been the constant theme of our work that the battle is the Lord's. And so today we have the opportunity to give him thanks for making it possible for this victory for the MPP and also for continuing to secure the peace of our country. I want to thank the people of Ghana for maintaining their confidence in our leadership of the nation especially the over 6.7 million people who voted for me. But in singling them out, I also want to assure the 6.2 million who did not vote for me that I will have their interests at heart and in mind in all that I do. I want to thank the clergy who have participated in today's ceremony and for the clergy who over the last four years continue to pray for the peace of our nation and for the success of our government. I want to thank the national, regional, constituency, polling station executives, volunteers, sympathizers, and all members of our party who have worked so tirelessly for this victory. And in so saying, to thank also members of the planning committee who have put together this ceremony and this event. 
This, this occasion enables us of the new patriotic party to renew our commitment to the promotion of democracy and good governance in our nation and also to recommit ourselves to work for the rapid development of our nation and its economy so that we can bring prosperity to all the people of Ghana without discrimination. This is a tall task, but it is a task that has been at the center of the noble political tradition to which we belong. And it is one that calls us to duty, to service, and to sacrifice. We have to take the lead in bringing into fruition the main teaching of this election which is that all persons of goodwill, no matter their political affiliation, have to work together to secure the peace, prosperity, and progress of our nation. Ghana continues to stand as a beacon of democracy and good governance in our continent and around the world. And it is our responsibility in our generation to do everything possible to maintain this standing and this reputation. For my part, I will do whatever I can and spare no effort to ensure that the institutions of our republic and our democratic engagement are not disturbed and are continued in full force and effect for the welfare and the benefit of the people of Ghana. So I thank you all of you for attending here today in your numbers to celebrate our victory of the 7th of December. And particularly, may I thank again the clergy who have come here to associate with us on this occasion. May the good Lord bless us all in our homeland Ghana and make her great and strong. Put your hands together, ladies and gentlemen. For the, Christ, for the President's Merry Christmas, we introduce to you the Winnipeg Youth Choir.